Christ Jesus has triumphed for Satan and death, and now praise his name, I am free. Although he has gone to his father's right hand, may others see Jesus in me. Greetings, friends. This is Pastor R. Norheim presenting the Gospel in Sermon and Song sponsored by the Lutheran Gospel Hour Association, Pasadena, California, released on a special network of selected radio stations in the United States, Canada, and overseas, maintained by the prayerful, free will, tax-deductible gifts of listeners. This month, we honor two of our greatest United States presidents, Washington and Lincoln, whose character and leadership laid lasting foundations for the Christian home, pointing them also to our heavenly home, emphasis greatly needed today. how so many of our loved ones have left the homes here for the heavenly home. And we too are waiting for the day when thou shalt come in the clouds of the sky to receive the dead in Christ who shall first arise, and then we caught up with them in the clouds of the sky forever be with thee in that heavenly home. Prepare hearts today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother Bob Bowman, president of the Far East Broadcasting Company, has graciously granted us the use of a number of his fine recordings. Today you'll enjoy hearing the beautiful garden of prayer. There's a garden where Jesus is waiting. There's a place that is wondrously Garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful. 
my Savior awaits, and he opens the gates to the beautiful garden of prayer. Conquered My Heart by John Peterson is our new song of the month, better than the average Valentine Day song. It's a testimony that Christians have truly given their hearts to Christ. For your free copy, ask for Calvary Conquered My Heart and write to the Lutheran Gospel Hour, Post Office Box 12, Pasadena, California. In Canada, Lutheran Gospel Hour, Post Office Box 201, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I was a rebel and stranger from God, willful and selfish, the path that I trod, carelessly walking since I Oh, 
asked our listeners to sign a pledge card agreeing to contribute every month to keep the Lutheran gospel out on the air. There's nothing wrong with this. Many do it. But to date, we just thank God for the faithfulness of so many of you friends who are regular in your giving, as the Lord himself does the prompting. His memory is perfect, you know, so we can fully trust him to speak to you at the right time, yes, even regarding the right amount to give. And only a few need to be reminded about our address. It's among the easiest to remember. Lutheran Gospel Hour, Post Office Box 1. Pasadena, California, zip code 91102. And in Canada, Lutheran Gospel Hour, Post Office Box 201, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, S7K 3K4. That is Lutheran Gospel Hour, Post Office Box 12, Pasadena, California, 91102. In Canada, Lutheran Gospel Hour, Post Office Box 201, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, S7K 3K4. And now, before associate speaker Wilmar Gunderson brings today's message, he sings Thrills Are Not Lost. <laughs> I'd like to review a little bit, and that is Romans 10:17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. My question is, how does faith come to a person? We read that very plain here. Faith cometh by hearing. You see, with hearing what? You hear the scriptures, the word of God, the word of Christ. Without scripture, there a person cannot be a Christian, and there can be no Christian experience without the Scripture. Without a personal Christian experience, there can be no Christianity. Everyone who is a Christian has experienced and daily experiences both sin in his life 
as well as grace. Grace and saving faith, they find an entrance only into crushed hearts, my friend, because it is the humble that God gives grace to. A genuine Christian experience consists of repentance in before God, asking Jesus Christ to forgive and to cleanse. Then a person tastes the sweetness of God's saving grace. And this becomes a saving faith that God has created, where you rejoice in the person of Jesus Christ. Faith, you see, is simply to accept God's free gift of salvation in Jesus Christ. Faith is not a product of our own doing. No, it isn't. That only leads to dead faith, which rests on good human behavior. This is the work of the flesh as well as the devil. It originates entirely in our own ego. It's a counterfeit faith. Speaking many times of reform, oh, we've got to change, we've got to reform, rather than regeneration, rather than an outside force, God himself changing me from within. See, dead faith, that is not a product of the Holy Spirit, but saving faith is, and saving faith is a transformation from spiritual death unto spiritual life, where I can honestly read in Scripture and where I can honestly say from the depths of my heart, I live by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This one, the Son of God, Jesus, is my only hope for time as well as for eternity. Because without him I'm lost, and I see my lost condition. I have nothing to cling to but Christ. He is my strength. He is my Redeemer. He is my Savior. To Him I can come with my needs, with my burdens, with my cares, and He says, cast all your cares upon me. Therefore, faith in the person of Jesus Christ is what God wants us to have. And this is all God's doing. He's the one who draws me unto Himself. He's the one who creates faith within me. And he gives me.